Hello everyone, Indigo Snake here. Welcome back to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel. I knew you guys just could wait for me to start a new episode. Uh, super short. Uh, guys, I'm getting tired of being in this damn city. <laughs> oh man, I've spent so many episodes here. I want the story to continue. Jeez, I'm getting slightly impatient with this. Um, so let's check out what quests I have to do. How do I get to that shit again? Oh. Alright, so I need to go to East Celtic Highway. We're gonna go out here. We're gonna kick however much ass we can. <sighs> Man, I feel like I'm getting nothing done uh, in in real life. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm not getting anything done. Like, oh, look at all these treasure chests out here. Oh, she has the item on? Maybe that shows us where everything is? Okay, cool. Good. We're gonna fight everybody. We're gonna defeat everybody because we're BA. Like, I gotta go grocery shopping today. I didn't do shit yesterday. I had basically a free day off, which is good and bad. Because bad because I didn't get paid for that day, and I need to get paid for all days in order to pay for the rent. <laughs> we have nothing <sighs> oh my goodness! I think I have the TV fucking volume on the whole time. I never do that. All right, let's let's fucking motivate everybody. Actually, I don't think we need to do this. Let's just go in and attack. There. Let's, oh, assist me. Nice! Hell yes! Um, I'm going to do one of your craft moves. So see this blessed arrow we got? I don't know if you saw me when I got this, but this can heal everybody if I want to. But it takes 40 CP, that's a lot. But I feel like I haven't really been caring about, uh, oh, detector. He got detector. I just want to see what this does. Analysis complete. Okay, so I can see everything. See, see, they got symbols there, so... But I don't know what these damn symbols mean. An adorable but deadly monster with a sharp tail. Its spin attack is incredibly dangerous. Yeah, it looks like a fucking sword tail. A ripper squirrel. Like, if you see this shit in real life, <laughs> that is horrifying. But it's totally normal in JRPG. So, they got unbound to efficacy. I don't know what any of that shit means. I'm just checking out these moves. Hex, yeah, let's do this. I don't think I've unbalanced anybody. Your swordsmanship gets better with every battle. Well, I've got a way to go to get to your level. Oh my god, it's so cute. Guys, guys, if you don't think this is a cute couple right now, I don't know what to say. I don't know this this is all the proof that I need. Like I'm gonna make sure they get together if it's possible. <laughs> Like, I know, like, they have a love story going between him and Aly Alyssa, but I ain't got time for that high school shit. Oh, God. Why did I do this? Shall we begin? Uh, okay. Let's see if we can do it, though. Let's, you know what? I fell in mode on this. It's not as bad as before. They're gonna poison us, though, pretty sure. Right. Um, uh, this guy. Yes, good, good. All right, tag this guy. Ooh, we got an assist. Nice. All right, and she can finish this off. Yeah, boy. You still have a lot of training to do. Oof, unscape, baby. That's what I like to see. First of all, am I like? Where do I even need to go? Like, I'm just going to the treasure chest. Oh, the high East Highway farmhouse. All right, cool. All right, so let's get our treasure chest. Reviving bomb, you need that shit hardcore. Ground bait? What? What is that? Is that a weapon? No, it's not a weapon. A bait designed to lure in a fish increases the number of times you can fish at a specific spot. Oh! Oh, okay, that's, that's actually pretty good. Okay. You have some cool things around here. What does this do? Okay, EP charge, yep. I have yet to use an EP charge. Oh, okay, I just do that shit for nothing. Alright, I feel good, guys. <laughs> Got the little lighthouse thing. I actually still have that code written down. Like an idiot. Like, I still have it on my little notepad. I like how we use that code again. <laughs> All, more people need to do that. 
Next. <laughs> Come on then. That was perfect, Elisa. Let's keep it up. Nicely done. <laughs> Not bad. See, Earth Cleaver can now be used. Uh, splits the Earth beneath foe's feet on balance. Plus 10%. Sounds great. I don't... I'm a little confused about the whole imbalance thing. Like, I'm not sure what the symbols mean. Is that a treasure chest? Yes, it is. That's why we're going for it. Mama, it's a treasure chest! Guys, I see it. God damn. Okay, so Proxy Puppet revives on KO with 10% HP once, but breaks afterwards. Oh, that's thing prevents KO and breaks out okay is this only works once per battle or just once forever it's interesting I'll, I'll probably use that on like a, a very difficult boss battle <laughs> and if I don't have a very very difficult boss battle then I won't ever use it so there you go I'll have to die once at least <laughs> Badass. All right, let's check and see if we got some items. Okay, that's it's always good to get Sephiths. This must be the farm that put out that monster extermination request. Should we go inside and ask for more details? Yeah, we might as well. Certainly better than just wandering around blindly till we find the thing. Agreed. We're here, so now's as good now's as good a time as any to introduce ourselves and ingratiate ourselves to the locals, I guess. Alright, so let's check to see if there's any more treasure chests out here. Doesn't seem like we got everything. I'm gonna save really quick. Alright, cool. Let's talk to this guy. He looks scared. Hmm? What brings you here? If you're looking for my granddad, he's inside. I don't know, that's what he sounds like. <laughs> wow, this farmhouse is huge! <laughs> Look at the cows! Why has he always got a music symbol? I mean, I know he plays violin, but he's not singing. <sighs> the cows stink. Harvesting the crops is exhausting. Farm work is just the worst. Why did I have to be born into a family like this? Wow, after we were just complimenting the damn place. <laughs> I guess we're not used to it. Let's talk to the little boy. There's a really scary monster that shows up near the highway. I can hear it in the middle of the night, too. Now I'm too scared to sleep by myself at night. Cool. <laughs> the fruit we produce is both deliciously fresh and healthy. You can even make whole juice out of it. And it'll still be just as good for you. Here, have this recipe on how to do- Oh my god, recipe. Whole juice. Dude, you can buy that from, um, school for way too much money. Now I can just make it. Somehow. Let's see, uh... I forgot where- which one- okay, yeah, look at the recipes. And... Let's see, whole juice. We can't even make this, but we do have a lot of clear gelatin. We don't have any strawberries. It cures faint. That's cool. And it recovers a thousand. Uh, oh, Lara's good at it. Okay, so if I were to make it, I would, I know, it's fish ingredients. Wow, but Machias and Fee are just really good at this whole, whole juice <laughs> stuff. They're very healthy people. <laughs> I don't know why I go around clicking on things like, like I'm gonna fucking find something. <laughs> this is, this is only, like, I've only done this when it was a quest that specifically asked to find a notebook, but otherwise, I've never found anything by clicking. But I'm gonna still do it anyways. My little clicking technique. <laughs> Hello, would you happen to be Syro? We're here to take care of, a, of the monster that's causing issues here. As such, we'd like some further details on- Wow, Elliot, you don't sound like that. <laughs> oh, you are? I'm the man you're looking for then. Hmm. Well, I did know that it would be students taking care of it. I wasn't aware that you had young ladies. Oh my goodness. She has a big ass sword. You don't see that shit on her back? 
The rest of you are younger than I expected, too. Perhaps the request may be too dangerous for you after all. No, no, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Thank you for your concern. However, there's no need to worry. All of us here have combat experience already. Indeed, this all serves as part of my training, too, so please allow us to undertake the request. Well, if you insist. You'll come across a plateau of sorts if you proceed beyond here. That's where the monster tends to appear. It truly is a ferocious one, so much so that passing by the area is impossible as it attacks everything it sees. Do take extra care when approaching it. R right Being careless with this one doesn't seem like an option. Well, we'll have to be thoroughly prepared for it. Allow us to make our way there once. Our pre preparations are complete then. I, I did that weirdly. <laughs> yeah, let's give this everything we've got. Whatever his voice is supposed to be. <laughs> um... Yeah, see, when when whenever they say shit like, let's be prepared for it, I don't know how one is supposed to be prepared for it. Oh, we, we can talk to the... Okay, that's... Hmm, what do you have to say about... Okay. So, all these creatures are back. Because <laughs> we walked into a place? That usually doesn't happen around here. Alright, so where is it? We're gonna skip that guy. I'm, I'm gonna save again. Yeah, I'm gonna save again and go straight for the gusto. Ooh, can I break those? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't get over here. Mm, so many boxes to break, and you won't allow me to do it. How dare you? Look at her. She's just she just put her hand in her hips. Yeah, man, I'm badass. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Why are some noises? Oh, oh, it's a train. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that. Transcontinental Railroad, huh? Guess that'll take you out of the country. Yeah. If you keep on heading east, you'd eventually reach Gorelia Fortress. Oh, it's way over there. But we gotta get the treasure chests, boys and girls. We gotta get those treasure chests. Oh, fuck that one. Oh god, no. <laughs> I don't like fighting those poison creatures. Waste everybody's time and I get mad. Wow, I like how they got a smoke grenade because they know. <laughs> HP chest. Hell yeah. Alright, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> oh, we, we gotta get this though. I managed to say the same two things on the on the victory screen, so I didn't show it this time, but you know. Just getting to know each other. Complimenting each other's sword skills and all that. Alright, so let's at least get this damn treasure chest. Invite Oh, we're getting so many of these. It's like we're gonna die a lot. Nah, we wouldn't do that, right? Just we have skills. Alright, where's the next one? Oh, I gotta go this way, huh? That's where the boss bottle is. And let's get this guy. <laughs> what? Enemy <slain>. Take him out. <laughs> Looking crazy though. Here we're we not go. gonna do the S break. Yeah, we got a fucking terror bomb. Like, holy shit. I'm doing so well in these. But yeah, so I can, I'm can. i able to do an S break, but I'm gonna save it oh, let's your chest. for the boss battle that's clearly coming. I gotta check and see where the warmer is. A disposable packet that warms the whole body. Oh, it cures freeze. Okay, wow, I have one thing that cures freeze. That I... I have no idea what the fucking monster's gonna be like. Need some cool, uh, cool little doodads I'm getting. <laughs> ah, here we are. I'm gonna save real quick. Just in case I die in a miserable defeat. I say I was pretty decent at this game by now. I am playing on normal mode. Is that the monster we're looking for? Why does it say warning? Like, bitch, I'm gonna fight the dude. This is what I came here to do. It certainly seems to be. It looks pretty tough. What should we do? We don't really have any choice, do we? We have to kill it. It's causing problems for the farmers. Everyone, double check your equipment. We need to be prepared for whatever this thing might throw at us. Understood. R right. Damn, alright, fine. I'll just check and see if I can put another thing on. Alright, I'm gonna give her more HP. That's the only thing I can do with that. <laughs> oh, I can equip accessories. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not gonna use proxy puppet or anything, so. Alright. Game makes me all nervous and shit. 
Let's, Laura, are you ready? Laura says she's ready. Let's do this. A worthy adversary. So we're fighting a dinosaur. My turn. I love the music. I love it. All right, guys, we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna do resounding. Give it up, everyone. Beats. It's the same boss with battle music from the My schoolhouse. Turn. We're gonna motivate everybody right. as well. Let's do this. Yeah, me. Also, we're gonna do an S break. It's my turn. <laughs> like hell yeah, we're gonna do this shit. You can also skip. I didn't do very much. It's my turn. <laughs> Alright, let's see what um he's weak to. He's weak to water. Wow. Do you have any? Uh, I could have put Aqua Bleed on her, but I don't have it. What, is she weak to fire at all? A little bit, but. Okay. Do you have any S friends? Alright, we're gonna do Flamberge on it. Just because we can. Turn to flames! <laughs> Burn! Nice. We need to so many people at once. Maybe he had two turns. Maybe because we uh, did a move or something. But do we have an art that is fire? No, we don't. We don't. Have, we don't have water at all. That's some fucked up shit happening. There. Damn. Right. Love it. All right. So let's check out the detector. I don't know if we need to do that actually. Nah, we don't need that. <laughs> we need a wa- Oh, he has Aqua Bleed. Alright, you do it, sir. We're just to regularly attack this guy. Oh, a thousand. Oh, buddy. We need to keep doing that one. We're gonna keep leaf cutting him. Because it looks cool. And who doesn't like to look cool? <laughs> Ooh, some this is regular attack 741. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, she can't do any of these because she's out of CP completely, but whatever. Wow, this is so easy. Jesus Christ, I'm over here like, hey, make sure we got everything. Uh, you're gonna do your aqua bleed again. Like a boss. Oh, <laughs> but oh boy! Here we go. So he's gonna do a move, and I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> Let's see this strength. Okay. All right. So this doesn't really bring up anyone's defense. <sighs> All right. I'm. I'll just. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have any moves. Does he get to do it? My turn. Probably not, because we're gonna. Can I, can I do one of her? Okay, armor breaker. We're doing this. Yeah. Oh. Evil he... will fall before my blade. Wow, he didn't even get a chance to do shit to us. <laughs> right. Got shield too. All right. All right. Wow, constant leveling up. That takes care of that. That was so easy. I, I don't know how we did it, but we won. What are you talking about? This shit was easy. It would have been even tougher if not for the for, for the power of our combat links. I hate to admit it, but Arcus does seem to have a lot of potential. We notice how we barely like I don't like I guess we did an aqua shot, but we did like maybe one link move on that guy. You hate to admit it? Why? But, never mind that. We should go tell the people at the farm that we took care of the monster they reported. Oh yeah. I hope they're pleased. Hmm. Is something wrong, Laura? No, it's nothing. Let's go. Uh, okay. Is this a romance? Is this romance? I'm just reading into shit. I don't know. Like, it could be any reason why she looks at me like that. Maybe she's, like, thinking about... See, I don't know if these conversations could happen differently depending on who you link with all the time. But probably not, because this is a JRPG, not really a choice-based game. Let's head back. Let's head back, everybody. We did our thing. It was easy. I 
I don't know, sometimes I'm leveled up enough and sometimes I'm not, because y'all saw me get defeated. Like, confusion really just fucks everything up. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I assume you've taken care of that monster? That's correct. Thank goodness. Thank you so much. Now we can finally be begin harvesting and I'll have to let the family know right away. You're welcome. I found myself surprised at how close this area is to Celtic, however. Wouldn't it have been much quicker to make a request to the Provincial Army instead? Well, it is admittedly close, but this area, and Celtic as a whole really, is on the very outskirts of the Cri Cruzen province. As such, the pr Provincial Army isn't very interested in aiding us. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not hard- not too hard to believe considering their attitude earlier. That certainly doesn't sit well with me. I probably shouldn't say any more on the matter. However, I do still owe you all your, all your reward for this. Please, take this. Wow, so many eggs. <laughs> Have a dozen. Oh, I can make the uh, the whole fruit, the whole juice thing. Yep, yep, honey syrup. That's really generous. Can we really have this much? Why, of course. You've got enough to last us here as it is. After all your help, it's the least I can do. Hope you enjoy them. This looks great, thank you. He, you don't get much fresher than this. I'm looking forward to digging in. I'm rather envious that you have the opportunity to eat such delicious food every day. Haha, <laughs> that's one of the benefits of being a farmer. Unfortunately, though, it's not all good. Things have been getting tougher lately, seeing as how goods are being imported so cheaply nowadays. Huh, I wasn't aware of that. Wow, this is getting real, guys. This is getting way too, way too real for me. <laughs> Importing, importing's become a much easier task now thanks to the transcontinental railroad and international flights. Furthermore, furthermore, more and more goods can be legally imported as a result of the rising population. Come to think of it, I have noticed an increase in cheaper ingredients lately. Oh, my apologies, I shouldn't be wasting your time with all this. Regardless, you all have my thanks for today. Now we can move on to harvesting without any worries. Allow us to thank you too. We actually learned a lot from doing this request. Feel free to get in touch should anyone, anything else come up. Cool, we did it. Now, we just have to go to sleep probably to continue the story. Which I want to do so hard. That's sad though, like, that- This happens a lot with progress. It's not all good. Whew, guess that does it for all the mandatory tasks. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pooped. Same, I don't venture out into the highways very often. The two of you sure seem okay though. Haha, <laughs> well, my hometown is in the countryside too, so I'm kind of used to this. And with all the training Lara does, I imagine this is probably nothing for her. Indeed, I find this level of exercise to be quite manageable. However, hmm? What is it? No, I'm sure it's nothing. I believe we should return to the inn now, should we not? Yeah, let's. I'm guessing Instructor Sarah is still there. We can give our report and also ask her a bit more about the purpose behind these field studies. That would definitely be good to know. She hasn't told us anything about what's happening tomorrow either. Alright then, let's head back to town. I don't know what Lara's not telling us, but here's my prediction. I think that she notices Instructor Sarah, Instructor, uh, like, watching us in, in the uh, distance or something, or sneaking around or something. She noticed that we were being watched. Maybe. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna go to see if I can get some more slots open. The Orbital Factory. All right, cool. So Lara has one more thing open, so let me see if I can put in there. A fire elbow. So she should probably get another fire thing if I can, but I don't have any. Give her some more shield. What's this? There you go. Does something. I don't know what ADF is. I wanted Samus, my son, to succeed my smithy for me. Little did I know he was he was going to come back wanting to tinker with ornaments instead. I wasn't too pleased at the time, but after lots of questioning, I decided to leave it. Now we just work here together. I'm here for all your arms related needs, and he's here for all your ornament related needs. I'm gonna finally get my man a new sword. <laughs> 
I didn't use that the whole time. <laughs> the whole time he was just behind everybody. But he still did pretty good. <laughs> okay, weathercock. Don't give crap. The one paid. What's going on? It sounds like something's happening at the market. Hmm, there appears to be some manner of dispute occurring. I wonder what's up. Should we go take a look? Yeah, let's go and see. Well, I thought it was going there, but I'm not. I'm gonna save. Don't give me that crap! This is my spot! I paid for it, so it's mine! I'm the one who paid for this spot. Look, I've even got the permit for it, so stop lying to me and vamoose. <laughs> okay. Real people use the word vamoose. Um, may I ask what the problem is? Perhaps we can help in some way. There seems to be some question over which of these two gentlemen get control of this area to set up his stall. The young merchant over there is local, while the merchant wearing the suit is from the capital. So they're both claiming the same spot? Hmm, how odd. Permits for the market are issued by the province's ruling lord. Oh, so for Keldig, that would be... Ah! Oh. This isn't good. We must stop them. Well, who are you? Unhead me at once! I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but violence isn't going to solve anything. You both need to calm yourselves. You've been worked into a rage. Uh... Bah! I like the music here. <laughs> what are you, high schoolers? This has nothing to do with you meddling kids. We're having a mature discussion here, and I'll thank you not to interfere. You look like a child yourself, sir. Since when has gra grabbing a person by the neck been considered mature? If you truly intend to have a mature discussion, perhaps you should try acting more like adults. Wh what did you say to me? We're students from the Thor's Military Academy. We're currently visiting this town on a field study. And while we are not yet formal members of the army, I'm afraid we cannot simply walk by and ignore a fight in such a public place. A, a military academy? Uh, so there's a bunch of soldiers in training? So there are a bunch of soldiers in training? <sighs> what an Adios' name is happening here. Oh, no. Now look what you've done. M manage your auto. I've been filled in on what happened. I understand both of you have a permit for the same stall, is that correct? Y yeah And both permits expire at the same time, too. What's the matter? What's the meaning of the- I'm, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> I understand your concerns, but fighting over it here is greatly inconveniencing the other customers. I'll be happy to discuss the matter in private, but I'll need to ask you both to put your differences aside until it's been resolved. Uh, okay. I guess. Well, that was a close one. Seems like everything's going to be fine now, though. Yeah, guess he's the guy in charge. You know what? When they put shit in parentheses, I I was under the impression that they're thinking, but it seems like they're telepathically talking to each other. I don't... Are they saying it quietly? I don't understand. I really appreciate the four of you stepping in to help defuse the situation. Though I suppose I should expect no less from the infamous, infamous Class 7 I've heard so much about. Oh? H how do you know about Class 7? My name is Otto. I, I did his voice wrong before. I'm the manager of the Celtic Grand Market. I have some things to discuss with you if you'd be so kind as to come along. I'll treat you to some tea. Ooh. Ooh, progress. <laughs> Okay, they're both angry. <laughs> we solved it. <laughs> so you were responsible for, for choosing our assignments? Indeed, Principal Van Dyke is an old friend of mine, you see. He asked me to personally select a few tasks that you might be able to complete. 
Well, that was nice of him. We appreciate your consideration as well. Oh, it was no trouble at all. Likewise, I'm grateful to you for taking some troublesome tasks off my hands. And I can't thank you enough for your help at the market. If you hadn't been there, I imagine someone would have wound up getting hurt. I'm just glad we got there when, when we did. So, both merchants will be taking turns in the same stall at the front of the market? That's right. Both of their permits are genuine, but their merchandise and temperaments don't lend themselves to sharing a space. Eventually, they agreed to a compromise where they would make would each make use of the front stall on alternate weeks. The other stalls were reserved as near the back of the market, however, so whoever is relegated there will likely see far lower sell numbers. That's better than nothing, I guess, but still really unfortunate. I must admit, I do find this whole matter rather perplexing. perplexing. To my knowledge, the issue of marketing permits is the sole responsibility of each province's ruling lord. For a mistake such as this to have been made in the first place raises some rather unpleasant questions. That's true, it's the lord's duty to control the flow of goods if he can't handle it. The local economy could really suffer. Quite right. Ordinarily, that responsibility would fall upon the duke's household. The duke? The Crozen province is ruled by Duke Alberi Alberio, whatever the fucking name is, one of the most four most powerful nobles in the entire country. But lately, the situation surrounding the Duke's household has been getting a bit complicated. Complicated. A few months ago, he increased the sales tax for our market rather significantly, and with a larger percentage of their profits being taken from them, the merchants have begun to get rather desperate. Fights like the one you saw earlier are becoming more and more commonplace. I see. Sales tax is something which should not be raised without careful consideration. History has shown us how damaging such actions can be. Hmm, I've never heard of anything like this happening in the capital. Have you tried raising objections to the increase? Of course. I've even gone to Berea Hard numerous times to petition the Duke personally. But they always just drive me away at the gate without listening to a word I have to say. This has been going on for roughly two months now. If that's the case, the mix-up with the permits may be more than just an accident. Uh, are you suggesting? They might be getting careless when dealing with the market, or maybe they're deliberately trying to cause problems. I don't think it's a good idea to jump to conclusions, but I will say that before all this began, the soldiers in the ground house absolutely would have intervened in a scuffle like that. Oh? Unlike the Imperial Army, a provincial army's main priority is maintaining the status quo throughout their territory. So, me so mediating arguments which threaten the status quo should absolutely fall within the scope of their duties. Correct. Seems that unless we accept this tax increase, they intend to turn a blind eye to the market. The commanding officer at the guardhouse has even made comments suggesting as much. That's not right at all. Dot dot dot, everybody. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be talking about matters like this with you. This is strictly an internal affair to be dealt with among us merchants. You have no reason to concern yourself with it. You need to be focused on your field study. And I'll have a new list of tasks for you tomorrow morning as well. You will? So you were asked to prepare some for each day of our visit, then? That's right, I've got a few difficult ones in mind too, but I'm sure you're up for them. Or at least I hope you are. <laughs> Don't worry, we are. We'll do our we'll do our very best to meet your expectations. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop you here, guys. This is oh, this is the building. This is the building where I walked in. I was like, you can have fucking meetings here. And guess what? They had a fucking meeting here. So if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to me for more episodes. I'm also at Twitter at EnigleSnake16. Links in the description below. As always, can't wait to see you next time. Bye bye